Hey guys, Frankie here, CigarNews.com, and this morning I've got a uh, Padilla Artemis Torpedo. Uh, this is a box press cigar. This is the first for Padilla uh, in the box press. It's a Nicaraguan Puro, meaning that uh, the wrapper, the binder, and the filler are all from uh, Nicaragua. It's a, it's a beautiful colored cigar, as you can tell right there. Uh, it looks like a double cap. See that, and then also uh, the foot, as well as the wrapper, smells a lot like hay. Uh, one of the things I'm excited about is just the fact that they named this cigar the Artemis. Um, uh, Artemis is a uh, was a Greek uh, goddess. Um, the story goes, at least for history's sake, that uh, uh, a meteor fell in Ephesus, and so the people, uh, the Ephesian people, uh, Greek Ephesian people, built a, a temple there in Ephesus. Um, to worship Artemis. She was the Greek goddess of fertility um, and goddess of the hunt. And so it gave guys a reason to go and worship her as well as, as the girls. So interesting there, the fact that Padilla would name their cigar uh, the Artemis. So that being said, just a little history there, but I have a degree in uh, Greek philosophy, so I love that stuff. I eat it up. I'm going to cut the cap there, the Zycar cutter. Practically a perfect draw, and we'll get this thing toasted. A good burn on this cigar started for us. The way I can tell that is just if all of that there on the tip is real white and almost flaky ashy already. There we go, about like that. Immediately a little bit of pepper. Some solid aromas. A little smoky. And so that's the lighting of the Padilla Artemis Torpedo. We'll be back in a little bit with the first, second, and third portion. Thanks, guys. Hey, guys. Frankie here, CigarNews.com. Smoking the Padilla Artemis Torpedo in the first portion here. And you can notice that the, uh, the burn's just a little bit off. Um, this, this whole cigar here is uh, very, very smooth. No rough spots, no hard spots, and so I'm kind of surprised that the, the burn's a little bit off right there. I don't know if it's just the humidity or what. You can kind of see the, the wrinkle, and so it probably means that, that that portion of the wrapper is about to catch on fire and, and burn up as well to kind of even it out. So that's just kind of where the burn is on the first portion. The, uh, the smoke itself... The pepper has been there, you know, from the minute I lighted it. Um, and it's it's smoothed off a little bit, though it's still there. But it's got a sweet, creamy taste. Um, this is a, a, a medium to full-bodied cigar, and you can kind of get that taste in the back of your throat. This is, it's there. It's, it's got some spice and some pepper and a little bit of kick to it. But the cream is there, too, and so it just kind of gives us a, a buttery cream uh, flavor there as well. I'm loving this. Um, you probably saw it earlier, but I, I clipped the cap with the cutter, and uh, this with this shape, it's drawing in those flavors. I, I slightly bite it when I draw, like that, and then just lightly draw in, and it's making this cap really creamy and sweet tasting itself as well. So really just enjoying this cigar. This is the first portion, and we'll be back in just a little bit with the, uh, the second and the third. Thanks, guys. Hey guys, Frankie here, CigarNews.com, smoking the Padilla Artemis, this uh, torpedo in the box press, and it is exploding with cream at this point. I'm loving this cigar. The draw is perfect, as you can tell. Cut the cap on there earlier, and very, very smooth. Um, the cap, if you've ever smoked a pipe, and you kind of pick up those flavors on the, uh, on, on the tip of the pipe there, those, those sweet flavors, that's what's going on in this thing. Um, just the sweetness is really right there at the cap on the on the tip of the tongue on this and of course with that torpedo cut 
it's uh, kind of funneling in that and narrowing the, that draw, so it's uh, increasing those flavors all the more. The burn has, has fully corrected, just a perfect, perfect smoke. Really enjoying this cigar. Again, medium to full-bodied, and more so on the full-bodied side. Love this cigar. This is the second portion. Uh, this is a double band, so I'll get that, that first band off there in just a second, and uh, we'll get into the third portion. Thanks, guys. Hey guys, Frankie here at CigarNews.com on the third portion of the Padilla Artemis Torpedo. Uh, this is the box press. This is the first of their box press editions, and I'm just loving this cigar. Uh, at the beginning of it, it had some spice and uh, pepper. The pepper stayed throughout the cigar. The second and third portion, right here especially, exploding with uh, buttery cream. This is a great cigar. If you haven't had one of these before, uh, give them a try. You won't be disappointed. Um, I picked this one up at, on Cigar Bid, three bucks, uh, so not, not too bad of a price. Um, excellent draw, excellent burn. Uh, as you can tell, the burn is really just about perfect as we're finishing this off. I'm going to enjoy this thing and, and nub it as far as I can. Thanks, guys. Have a great weekend.